Okay. Thank you for coming uh, to watch uh, my presentation about uh, Borussia Dortmund and uh, Jurgen Klopp's tactics. Why I choose uh, Borussia Dortmund and Jurgen Klopp specifically? Because probably you know better than me, you are from Germany. <laughs> so <laughs> let's keep it that way. So what is pressing? Pressing it is a, coll it's a collective attempt, not individual. This is the main difference of the defending team to restrict the available space and time of the man in possession and win the ball as soon as possible and as high as possible on the opposition's half. If we are talking about pressure, we are talking about an individual attempt. Okay, this is the separation between the two terms. Let's uh, talk about uh, pressing application with the 4 to 3 1 according to the tactics of Jurgen Klopp against the 4 4 2. The philosophy of Jurgen Klopp during pressing application. He likes a compact team. He likes his teams to be compact. Okay. This means that the spaces between the uh, lines are limited for the opposition to take advantage. The players broke or are ready to deal successfully with the potential uh, dangerous passes. And the ball is usually forced towards the side, the sidelines. Near the sidelines, we can create more easy numbers up and it is more easy for us to double mark and win possession back. And finally, we can always, we can't always uh, play high up the field and press high. So many times his teams drop back within the middle thirds and they switch to pressing after uh, specific triggers. Now we defend within the middle third, okay. Uh, uh, at some time when our, uh, one of the opponent central defenders has the ball, our side midfielder moves to put pressure on him. It is important during putting pressure to put uh, in the shadow this fullback so the ball can be passed directly over here. And this is important also that the through passing lanes, which are very dangerous passes, passes should be also be narrow so it's not possible for players to receive, for the opponent players to receive. If we apply this situation, the passing option for number five should be passing here over there to the goalkeeper or number five. But the positioning of number 10, which is centrally placed, it is in favor of us if the ball is play, uh, position, uh, played on the other side. For example, number five plays a pass to number four. Okay, and we should need now a trigger. Number 10 calls a trigger. For example, go. Okay, and all of the players switch towards the strong side. Number 10 is in a position, good position. He's going to be close to the strong side uh, if the ball is passed to number two. And we are able to create this situation as soon as the ball is passed to number two. If the forward is not close enough, we can still apply a good uh, press. We can still create a good pressing situation. Yes. <laughs> now. The players uh, uh, stay in, within the middle third. They play passively. As soon as the ball is passed over there, number 16 forces the ball towards the sideline. It is the right time for number 9 to force the ball towards the sideline too. And we can create this situation. Double marking the midfielder and create a chance.